Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Deborah Crawford. I am a student in sports marketing and media program at the Full Sail University. Today I am proud to share with you an interview with Professor Christopher Woodward. Professor Woodward is a professor of sports history at Full Sail University. Professor Woodward was not available for a live interview, so he shared his comments with me via email. Here is Professor Woodward's interview answers and questions. Professor Woodward, what do you see as the role of the visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? Deborah, I see the role of visual arts is to create engagement with so many options for consumers. You need to grab their attention, hook them in, and keep them engaged. Otherwise, they will quickly move on to something else. More than ever, first impressions are critical, and if you put something interesting, be it a headline or photo on a website, it will entice someone to read more. If not, they might click away and never get around to checking out your content. Professor Woodward, what new communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available? Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on your field or industry? Could you please provide an example? Deborah? I actually believe the instant gratification of the world today has a positive and negative impact. The positive is the accessibility of images and the ease of obtaining them. You want a picture of someone, just Google their name and you have a slew of images at your fingertips. The negative is that I believe you can take for granted the efforts behind the capturing of an image. There's a lot of work and thought that sometimes gets disregarded now, as if anyone can capture it. Another impact is that we've become a bit spoiled at times. We don't wait for things anymore, and maybe as a result, we don't appreciate them as much. Professor Woodward, what popular images do you see that are frequently repeated throughout your industry? Deborah, professional wrestling in particular, Hulk Hogan, made the idea of flexing and posing popular in pop culture. Bodybuilders did it for years, but in the 1980s, Hogan's post match flexing became ingrained in a generation and you see people even with no muscle tone at all to speak of mimicking his poses in pictures everywhere from sporting events to red carpets. Professor Woodward, who is one of your vis favorite visual artists or what is your favorite style of visual art? Deborah, photography is always my favorite going back to my days in professional wrestling when I would see ringside photographers literally risking their body to get shots of athletes in midair as they flung their bodies in and out of the ring. Photographers like Erwin Markowitz and George Tejinos, who are probably unknown outside of their own industry, did some amazing work capturing a unique industry, away from my own business ventures. I've always appreciated the photography of Ross Halfin, who shoots many concerts and live bands. Professor Woodward, how has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? Deborah, I think I have always related back to engagement in my creative process. Grab the attention and hook them in so they check out the content on the website. That said, I believe a pleasant image will always go a long way. So while some might gravitate towards the ugly side of sports, such as mistakes or injuries, I think far more prefer the beauty of a perfect play or moments being captured. Just one more question. This one I made especially for you. Professor Woodward, have you ever bought a piece of art that was very special or a piece of art you truly admired? And what was that piece of work? Deborah, I once purchased an oil painting of the Disney character Stitch reading the book The Ugly Duckling, and it is by far my favorite piece of artwork. I have thanked Professor Woodward for his time he put into answering my questions and feel he was a great choice as an interviewee. That concludes my podcast, and I hope you enjoyed my interview.